Every year we like to go to Quartzsite, Arizona for their big tent RV show. And um, if you've never been there and this is your first time, I just put together a few things that I thought might be helpful. First thing is after crossing the border from California into Arizona, you'll come to the town of Ehrenberg. We like the Flying J Travel Plaza there to fuel up and it's a nice place to also you can get propane there. It's right off the 10 freeway, easy off and on the freeway. The next two fuel stops are in Quartzsite. I think they're maybe about 20 miles away. The Love's Travel Stop and the Pilot Travel Center. And all of these places can accommodate large RVs if that's a concern of yours. They do get busy though, so you're going to have to pack your patience on this. Um, also, if you need groceries, we usually go to the Roadrunner Market. It had all the necessities that we needed. They also have a small deli inside. They bake uh, fresh bread and they can make sandwiches to order there too. And they, the sandwiches were good. Um, also, if you're hungry, Quartzsite has some fast food places like McDonald's and Carl's Jr. Um, if you're interested in restaurants, we like Silly Al's Pizza. You can eat there or uh, you can take out and they have a small dance floor and some nights they have karaoke and um, it's a popular place and it does get really busy especially uh, around the uh, big tent RV show and uh, the atmosphere is fun though and the pizza is really good and the Heaven's Kitchen Barbecue it's also a very good little restaurant it's seasonal, so it's only open November through February. They have melt-in-your-mouth tri-tip and pulled pork, though. Uh, another place is La Casa Gold Cafe. It's Mexican-American food. Um, it's a nice little, uh, quaint little cafe, and it serves breakfast and uh, lunch and dinner. We've only eaten breakfast there, and it was pretty good. On the main street at Tyson Wells, where all the vendors are, there's a little outside place to eat called Lone Steer Cafe. We had their uh, barbecue chicken and ribs and thought they were really good. Uh, this place is usually there every year. And since they're temporary vendors, I don't have an uh, exact street address. But like I said, their food truck faces, I think it's the main street there, uh, Coon Street and at Tyson Wells. That's K-U-E-H-N. So I'm going to put the addresses to all of these places down below so that you'll be able to find them. Uh, maybe put them in your GPS. But I hope you have a really good time. It's a very fun place to be at this time of year.